actor Morris Chestnut, who's been on screen since 1991 and currently stars on the Fox medical drama The Resident, put down a couple million for a gorgeous Calabasas estate just last year. It isn't his first rodeo with luxury Los Angeles real estate either, having owned a gorgeous house in the Granada Hills neighborhood back in the day, and a bit more recently, a mansion in the exclusive Hidden Hills. We'll take a look at Morris's current pad in Calabasas and a couple of his former homes too. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After giving up his dream of playing professional football, Morris Chestnut garnered immediate attention for his first movie role back in 1991, starring as Ricky Barker, the promising young athlete cut down in John Singleton's coming of age film Boys in the Hood. From there, the actor would land supporting roles in more films and TV series over the years, from G.I. Jane to Disney productions like The Ernest Green Story and many more. Let's not forget he did a great job in rom-coms like The Best Man and The Best Man Holiday as well. Most recently, Chestnut stars on the Fox medical drama The Resident, and it doesn't seem his career is slowing down anytime soon. At the time of this recording, his estimated net worth is at about $17 million, affording him some beautiful family homes in posh LA neighborhoods over the years. His first home purchase, according to records, was in 1994, a newly built home just east of Long Beach in Lakewood, California, costing him 274 k and spanning 2,222 square feet. When Morris moved on from that pad, he scored a larger home in the Granada Hills neighborhood, later upgrading even further to mansions in Calabasas and Hidden Hills. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. I saw some of you guys requested this one, so today we're checking out where actor Morris Chestnut lives, including two of his former properties and the stunning home in Calabasas he bought at the end of 2020. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items, and more. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Back in 2001, Morris paid $707,000 for a newly built home in the area of Granada Hills, Los Angeles. This neighborhood is in the San Fernando region, close to Burbank, but outside the busyness of Hollywood and Beverly Hills. The home was newly built at the time and no doubt came with all the bells and whistles you might expect. This villa-style abode was definitely built in the McMansion style of the time and looks like an upscale suburban estate. It was situated in the hills of the Granada Highlands community, with 1.5 acres of sprawling land, which according to listing materials would be suitable for an orchard or a vineyard. There were also pads on the property that could be used for a tennis court or turned into horse facilities if one desired. Walking into the home, there are soaring ceilings in the entryway and a curved staircase to the upper level, while this space flows directly into the double height great room with fireplace. The flooring here seems to be a mix of tiles, carpet, and hardwood, so from listing photos it appears to be dated, but I'm sure current owners have since upgraded. In total, the home home spanned 3,779 square feet of space with five beds and five baths throughout. The open floor plan fills the house with natural lighting and the cook's kitchen here has sliders that open to the backyard. Beside the kitchen, there's also a second, more casual family room. While Morris and his fam have since upgraded, this mini mansion would have been a nice spot to raise a family by the looks of it. The best part of the property may have been the backyard, where there's a sparkling rock-trimmed saltwater swimming pool and spa, patio and garden all surrounded by trees and landscaping. Not to mention, all of this backs onto a creek with access to horse and hiking trails. Other features of Morris's former Granada Hills home included a large master suite with his and hers closets, an office, and a bed and bath downstairs with separate entryway. When it came time to move on from the the property, the actor only sold the property for a little bit more at 720 k according to public records. In 2007, Morris moved on to the exclusive Hidden Hills neighborhood in Los Angeles, paying $3.3 million for a 
5,522 square foot home. Originally built in 1974, the one level abode boasted seven beds, 7.5 baths, and sat on nearly 2.5 acres of land, according to records. There were all main living areas on the single floor, but during Morris's time living here, he remodeled the place and added a suite with a separate entrance on another floor. They described this as a lower level teenager suite. Throughout the home, there were open beam ceilings, stone floors, and French doors. There were sandy and neutral tones, much like Chestnut's Granada Hills home, which were definitely of the times. Inside, other highlights included a new master suite with high ceilings, a fireplace and dry sauna, and an upgraded granite kitchen opening to the spacious family room with another fireplace. Outside, there was a rolling lawn and a port cochere at the front of the home, while in the private backyard, there was everything from a barbecue area, tennis court, swimming pool and spa, and even horse stables and a pasture. Unfortunately, when it came time to move, Morris unloaded the home on short sale, which means he sold it at a loss with the bank and took a hit on the transaction. Compared to what he paid and spent on remodels, the home went in 2012 for $2.5 million only. If you look up the same property now, you'll also find that the original house Morris remodeled was completely demolished. More recent owners reconstructed a brand new massive estate in its place that looks completely different. This new mega mansion spans over 13,000 square feet of space and has everything from a custom movie theater to study with private patio. It's now worth over $12 million. At the end of 2020, Morris had a big upgrade himself. He purchased his current home located in Calabasas for $2.44 million in a guard gated enclave. The new Mediterranean tract house was designed to impress and looks like a mini resort, spinning 6,610 square feet inside with six beds and eight baths. The double height entryway is grand as they come with an ornate chandelier overhead, marble floors, and a white curved staircase to match the walls and archways. This space is also surrounded by the formal living and dining rooms, both of which have high ceilings, carpeting, and walls of windows looking over the front yard. While these rooms are super traditional, there are more casual rooms nearby where the actor can kick back with his fam. These include the huge family room with a fireplace and walls of glass that seamlessly open to the patio, as well as the updated and sleek kitchen with shiny top of the line appliances. There's a massive master suite with a fireplace, sitting room, dual bathrooms, and a pair of walk-in closets on the upper level, as well as three of the other bedrooms. On the main floor, there are two ensuite guest rooms and an office. The glass doors on the main level are visible when you first walk into the home, and the grounds are full of tropical landscaping outside, all completely private. A covered patio spans the full width of the house, and there are even features like a playground for the kids. The focal point outside has got to be the pool and spa though, which has an azure tiled waterfall and is flanked by columns. So now we've taken a look at three of actor Morris Chestnut's homes, including the new one he treated himself and his family to just recently. After checking out his previous spa in Granada Hills, the one after that in Hidden Hills, and his current Calabasas mansion, which was your fave? What did you guys think? Are they the properties you would expect of the actor? I think my fave is either Morris's current spa in Calabasas or the Hidden Hills one. However, I like the style they recently rebuilt the Hidden Hills one in better. I love the mix of materials like dark hardwood even on certain walls, contrast contrasted with white marbles and glass. One thing's for sure, the actor always picks homes boasting a great swimming pool. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I'll link you my latest video and I post one every Sunday. So Michael and I watched the movie The Girl in the Basement. When you watch this movie, you might not believe that anything so disturbing can happen. The real life story, the man was Joseph Fritzl, and it gets really gruesome. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.